There are 332.5 million gallons of water in the ocean. 80% of the ocean water is polluted by air, land, and plastic. The Mariana Trench is the deepest known part of the ocean, stretching down roughly 36,000 feet. You'd imagine that at those depths, the ocean floor is pristine, almost untouched by human activity. Well, I've got some bad news for you. Turns out, the bottom of the ocean is very, very polluted. And that's not some clickbait hyperbole. It's more polluted than some of the most polluted regions on the surface of the globe. One probe into the Marianas Trench only had to go about 16,000 feet down to find physical remnants of actual garbage, not just waste byproducts. Beer cans, plastic bags, even an entire can of Spam was found resting along the trench's wall. And unless it's removed, this trash can stay down there indefinitely, just piling up. Worldwide, an estimated 330 million tons of plastic will be manufactured in 2010. That's more than 100 pounds of new plastic for every man, woman, and child on Earth. But in the United States, only 7% of plastic is recycled. Much of the rest ends up in landfills, where it could remain for more than a thousand years. Other plastic is carelessly discarded, and it goes from stores to storm drains, streets to streams, eventually floating out to sea. These persistent materials, if you wait until you see the problem, it can be too late because once they're out there, they're very difficult to recover and can cause problems for many years. Up to 80% of the plastic in the ocean comes from land-based sources. Once at sea, the floating garbage is caught up in the tides and currents. The currents that run along the California coast converge with four other prevailing currents from the far reaches of the Pacific Ocean. When they meet about a thousand miles off the coast of California, they create a slow swirling vortex known as the North Pacific Gyre. As the currents come together, they carry with them trash from around the world. On an expedition through the gyre in 1997, Sea Captain Charles Moore of Long Beach was alarmed by the amount of trash, mostly plastic, that he found spread out over hundreds of miles. This debris rides the currents of Japan. We see markings uh, of uh, Japanese and Chinese characters. Every single day for that week that we crossed these doldrums, we saw trash every time we came on deck bottle caps, shards of plastic, soap bottles, uh, things that just didn't belong there, but were floating by. Since that voyage, Moore has dedicated his life to studying the problem of marine debris and to bringing it to the world's attention. We found in our lab analysis that the small bits of plastic outweighed the naturally occurring zooplankton, six to one plastic to plankton, more trash than life. Today, the Pacific Gyre is often referred to as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It's Jimmy Hoffa's head. <laughs> With most of the plastic broken into tiny pieces, the garbage patch can't be seen from the air. Much of the debris floats a few feet below the surface. Scientists don't know its exact size, but some estimates place it at twice the size of Texas. Oceans are under a tremendous stress mostly in forms of shopping bags, bottles, toys, and food wrappers. Anywhere from 5.3 million to 12.7 million of plastic end up in our ocean every year. This comes to show that people really don't see how much it is doing to our oceans. Plastic. They can help us in many ways such as carrying and holding our items for us. It is light, easily shaped, strong, and inexpensive. Its ability to guard against contamination which makes it useful in stereo medical environments such as hospitals. Um, I think 75% of it. I think like 
65 percent of the ocean. 85 percent. I think it is 95 percent. 85 percent. I think that um, about 70 percent. The ocean the most. Um, I think oil and um, what is it? The stuff that comes off of like manufacturing. Garbage or trash that is left on the streets and goes into storm drains. Plastic. I think plastic the most. Plastic. What pollutes it the most? I think plastic because plastic doesn't isn't biodegradable. Like other products that go out or trash, like paper, it eventually you know breaks down. trash that we see on the ground so that it doesn't make its way to the ocean. No more plastic. We can use hydroplasts and we can also get involved with our community by doing volunteer work and beach cleanups. Pick up trash in the water whenever we see it and get involved. We should ban plastic bags altogether. I don't know when Hawaii banned plastic it was strange because they had thinner bags and then I'll go to Long's and now there's this big thick bags and it's like even more plastic. Um, by the year 2020. 2020. Next year. Next year. I think in the next 10, 20 years that I think it's going to be become a really big problem. Ocean pollution has to be fixed one day. There are many different things that can be done to prevent plastic pollution. Some things we can do is eat fresh and go to the farmer's market instead of buying packaged foods. Also, we can stop buying plastic wrap and use glass containers instead. We can do multiple things to prevent pollution. We can also do a good deed by helping to clean our beaches and doing some community service. Yeah. Uh. Uh.